Hey guys, Shelly here in the kitchen. Today I'm making sugar cookies. They're called Mama's Sugar Cookies. It's a recipe I found in my mother-in-law's um, stash of recipes. It's an older recipe. It's all yellowed and uh, it's out of a, a newspaper from somewhere. I have several of those like that. Um, but it says she wrote good on it. A lot of her recipes, if she tried them and she liked them, she'd write good somewhere on it. And this one has a little bit more butter than the normal one that I make. Uh, so I decided that I was going to try that, um, this one instead to see if I liked it. Cause I think a little bit more butter would be make them buttery, right? And yummy. So I thought I'd do that. So I'm going to tell you. What I put in it, I already mixed it up and I chilled it in the fridge for about an hour. It says two, I think two to three hours. Um, but I don't have time for that. Um, I want these cookies in so we can have them for dessert. Tonight I'm making um, hamburger pie, uh, not hamburger pie, hamburger soup with biscuits, um, garlic biscuits. Scott's out plowing because we had a little bit of a storm today. Not as big as a lot of people around, but he is um, out there plowing the driveway and he should be done pretty soon. So I thought I'd take the moment while it was quiet. The generator is running if you hear it. Sorry about that if you do. Um, it's We haven't had any sun today. The power was a little bit low. We've got a couple freezers that I'm trying to keep going. So I turned it on and um, that'll keep us good for a little while. But uh, I wanted to make these up and get these done. So you put in a cup of butter, a half cup of sugar, half a cup of confectioner sugar, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And you mix that all in until it's all creamed up together. Um, two and a half cups of flour, uh, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and you sift those in to your, um, into your butter. So you sift those in together and then mix it all up together. You keep a little bit of sugar off to the side. This is probably too much, but this is for when you push down on your uh, cookie dough balls to um, get them flat onto your pan. Um, and so then, like I said, you chill it for an hour or two it's been in for an hour. It's supposed to be so it's manageable, and it feels manageable to me, so I think we'll be okay. Um, 350 degrees for, let's see, 10 to 12 minutes. Um, and you do that until they're light golden. While still warm, remove onto wire racks. It's supposed to make seven dozen tea-sized cookies. Well, I have this cookie and I've been putting my fingers all over it, so it's got flour on it. This, um, well, it looks like an ice cream scoop, but it's for cookies. So I'm going to use this and put them on my pan. And then, um, and hopefully that's in there so you guys can see. Um, and then I'm going to dip my cup with a flat bottom on it into my butter and get it buttered. And then into the sugar. And then I'm going to push down on that ball and it's gonna make a nice little cookie. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just getting, boom. Let's see, and hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna put it onto my pan. I'm gonna do a few of these at once. It's supposed to be about a couple inches apart. I don't know if it's gonna make seven dozen. I really hope it doesn't, because I don't wanna be here making seven dozen cookies. I like cookies, don't get me wrong, but I don't know about seven dozen. If I was making it to give to somebody, yeah, I probably wouldn't have a problem with that. But see how much easier this makes this? You just do your little thumb thing to get it released, and it works really good. And they're all pretty well uniformed, not bad. Maybe I got them too close together, I'm not sure. Once I flatten them out, I guess I'll find out. And it's supposed to be on an ungreased pan. I'll put all the ingredients and, and uh, recipe right down in the description so you guys can have it. I'm sure you've made 
um, sugar cookies before. I just thought it would be fun to show you guys me making them. And then I don't have a lot of decorations. I must have given them to my daughter or I used to have some or maybe we used them up. I don't really know. I don't know what happened to them. Space these out a little better. I need a little bit more room here. Um, I used to have some uh, Christmassy sprinkles and I, we could have used them. Like I said, we've done, we sometimes make these for family, friends during the holidays um, and decorate them up. And I have not done that this year. This year when I go out and buy staples like sugar, um, flour, baking soda, you know, any butter, anything like that, I put it away and store it for if I can't get it. Um, this past summer I had a hard time getting flour and it kind of scared me because I'm like, ah, sometimes I just feel like cooking. All right, so hopefully you can see this. You just get your bottom, you just get your bottom buttered. All right, we're gonna bottom our butter, butter our bottom. And then you dip it right in the sugar and then you push down onto your cookie or your dough. Again, push down. Maybe those are too flat. I don't know. Probably. Probably too flat. Here. These would be fun with, with kids, I think. They really like doing this. like mushing it down. My granddaughter was here. She'd probably love doing this. I didn't make cookies with her this time. Um, we were just too busy. She had fun going outside and playing in the snow. And I didn't even get her a little sled out. I should have. I bought her one last year, and by the time I got it, the um, it didn't snow again. We didn't have enough snow for her to to go. So, oh well. Well, if I get these too thin, I can always, I'll just watch the timer because I don't want them to burn. So I do have a little bit of, instead of making frosting with my powdered sugar and all that, I do have actual canned frosting and I do have a few little sprinkles. Scott's not going to care whether they're decorated or not. He'll just come in and grab them. And honestly, honestly, I don't care either. <laughs> okay, we're going to take that over. All right, so there's uh, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine cookies. Um, I'm going to put them in the oven for, uh, I'm going to put it for 10 minutes, but I'll watch where they're a little bit thinner than I think they're supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be a little bit thicker than that. Um, I may take them out a little sooner than that, but I'll see how, how it goes. But we'll be back and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, guys, I got some cookies made. They came out pretty good. They're a little flat. They're a little flat, but maybe that's how they're supposed to be. I don't know, but they are so like, oh, they just fall apart. Mm. Oh, and they're crunchy buttery. Yep, that's what I like. These I did a little bit of frosting with what decorations I had, which were little little uh, different colored green balls. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet treat. Really yummy. Those will be good tonight while we're staying warm from, well, especially Scott. He's out plowing still. He should be back in. Pretty soon we can have supper and then have some cookies for dessert. I may have some cookies before supper. Who knows? Um, I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, one more batch to come out. It did not make seven. Uh, what did I say it made? Seven dozen. It does not make seven dozen cookies. But that's okay. I didn't want to stand here and do seven dozen. I just wanted a little something yummy for us to have, you know, the next day or so. So we got a few cookies 
and we got some yummy food and I want to thank you guys for coming and checking out this quick little sugar cookie video and my lovely decorations on my something my granddaughter could probably do a better job at but that's okay we're just gonna eat them all right guys have a good one thanks for stopping by like subscribe leave a comment down below have you made these this bat this recipe before I can talk I think my mouth's watering from the cookies tasting so good um and I think that's it have a good night have a good day afternoon evening whatever time of day you're watching this take care and we'll see you tomorrow